Hey, my juicy and strong woman and super strong man. What is the underlying reason for wrinkles under the eyes, saggy lower eyelid and eye bags? Well, it is depleted kidney energy and depleted bank account of our adrenals. Of course, we need to train the facial muscles, the lower eyelid muscle. The more our muscles are in shape, the more our face is in shape. And of course, we need to take care of our skin. The skin in this area is super sensitive. But if we don't take care of adrenal and kidney bank account, the wrinkles will just reappear, the lower lid will be full of water and it will be dark and we will continue to have problems in this area. We can read so many things from our lower eyelid and I get the most requests from my students. Please teach me the exercises for lower eyelid because so many of us have problems with this area. We can read in face diagnostics, which I hope I will teach you someday more in depth. We can read the cortisol levels, melatonin levels, growth hormone levels from this area. We can also read so many things about our emotions, our intimacy, our past, our childhood, all from this area. In Taoism, they call this area the palace of a child, such an important part of our face and our body. But what is the best news for us now is that every time we properly train our lower eyelid, we also rejuvenate our kidney and our adrenals. Especially when we train the lower eyelid, the round muscle around the eye, together with the lower round muscles. Women with vaginal muscle, men with the tip of the penis, and with anal muscle. So, this exercise that we will learn now, the water flow, we will be really smart in training of the lower lid. We will train the lower lid, the area outside of the eye, the temples, and the upper lid, because this is all one muscle and we need to target it in all three areas. If we want this skin here to be tight, if we want the muscle to be strong, and because we will also train our lower round muscles, we will really rejuvenate the kidney and adrenals. So this is our plan. And before we do the exercise, let's first train how to lift our lower lid. Okay? So relax your forehead as much as you can you can put your hands on your forehead just to keep it straight without frowning look up imagine you're looking in the sun and the sun is really bright so you start to like squint your eyes basically what you want to do is close your eyes from down towards up Imagine you're looking at the sun, you're squinting without frowning, or that you want to read really, really, really small letters. Try to lift only the lower lid. So you're looking up and you're trying to close the eyes from down up. You can also take two fingers, you just gently put them on the lower lid. I'm moving my lid, not the fingers, but just feel, is this area moving? 
I needed so much time to activate this area. My lower lid was so 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 empty i had no muscle now i'm almost 40 when i started to do this exercise i was less than 30 but i had no muscle this skin was so dark and my skin was like so brittle i was i had full of these small 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 wrinkles so this was my hardest area in the face to get any feelings so, but i was just training and the the more you will train, the more you will feel, and you will feel it eventually. I hope you feel some lift now, but we are just preparing for the exercise. So you need to have a feeling that this area is lifting. Okay, you can try this many times during the, the day just to get some circulation in this muscle. What we want to do, we want to lift the lower eyelid muscle and connect it back to its place. Okay, so now we go to the exercise. Prepare your hands, put the two lower fingers together and two upper fingers together and you just put the index finger and the middle finger on your brows just to prevent frowning. Now you look up and you lift your lower lid. You lift your lower lid like we trained and now you put the ring finger and the small finger on your lid and press it like a weight in the lower lid when it's lifted. You press it, you keep your eyes open in a way just like you're closing them from below up but they're not completely closed you press it and you hold this hold it for as long as you can you breathe normally and you release one more time you look up you lift your lower lid you press your fingers on it this is the only way to activate the muscle so it starts to get more volume. You press on it, you hold it, you breathe. You release it. One more time. Inhale, lift your lower lid. Try to squint your eyes, close them from below to up. Press the fingers once the lid is lifted. Hold it. And release it. We will do the whole water flow. So now we will go to the temples. Put your palms on your temples in the way so you still keep some part of your palms on the eye muscle. So you want to feel the temples and the eye muscle, the outer part of it, okay? You put your palms on it, you push your palms a little bit, bit back so you feel the skin to, to be a little bit tight here. Press it. Now you inhale, you exhale, Close your eyes as much as possible and at the same time close your vaginal muscle or the tip of your penis and anal muscle all together. So you close the eyes and the vaginal muscle, the tip of the penis and anal muscle and you look inside of the head with your eyes and release. So all the round muscles, they just like contract them, contract them. One more time, inhale, exhale, close the eyes strongly, contract the lower round muscles, like you want to go to the toilet and you want to hold it, but don't just contract them, leave them as well. Leave the lower round muscles and the eye muscle Look inside of the head and release. 
the real secret of rejuvenation of the body is to activate the round muscles and also to push this energy from the low round muscles to the kidney. We, we are doing this now. One more time, inhale, exhale, close your eyes, squeeze the lower round muscles and release. Now take your palms and put them below your brows. So you activate and you hold the upper lid below your brows. We cannot build the lower eyelid if we don't build the upper eyelid. So we put our palms below our brows, we hold on to our forehead, inhale, exhale, squeeze the lower round muscles, push the energy up towards the kidney, towards the adrenals and close your eyes. And while you're closing the eyes, gently push your palms toward your temple. Like you're pushing the palms back and with your lids, you're closing the eyes. And release. Inhale. Exhale. Close the lower round muscles. Push the energy up. Close the eyes. Gently push the palms up. Release. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Start to close your eyes. Push your hands toward the temple, up on the forehead. You're closing the eyes. Squeeze the lower round muscles. And release. And now we will finish with the lower lid. So now we lifted the whole area surrounding it. And now we will train it once again with the help of the lower round muscles. So the effect will be even stronger. Prepare the fingers again. Prevent the frowning. Look up. Lift your lower lid. Inhale. Exhale, push the fingers in, squeeze the lower round muscles and keep the eyes half open, as much open as there are. Don't close them fully. Just press onto the lifted lower eyelid. Release. Look up, lift the lower lid. Press onto it, squeeze the lower muscles, the vaginal muscle, tip of your penis, anal muscle, the whole pelvic floor. Feel the connection between your round muscles, a little bit more, release. And the last time, inhale, lift the lower muscle, Press onto it, squeeze the lower round muscles, hold it, and release. The kidney and adrenals are the water element in the Taoist medicine. So with this exercise, we created a water flow and the more our water in our body is flowing, the more juicy we are, the better our hormones work, the better our rejuvenation works, and the more shining and healthy we are. So I know this exercise is not super easy because it requires some training, some focus, and it's really hard the first time to do it perfectly. But this is the point to do it a few times and the more you will do it, the more you will feel the lower lid, the more you will feel the lower muscles and the more you will be able to work them together. 
and you're just in the start of your amazing journey of juicy face lifting and discovering this Dao face yoga and Dao facial diagnostic and everything, I'm here for you. We will learn everything together and every single exercise you will do for yourself, you will feel it, you will see it and you will be encouraged to do more of them.